Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. 2. It is I, your host, Pocket Gamer. Uh, last time we tackled Worlds 2, 4, 2, B, and, uh, the Boo House. Thank God we're done with that. Uh, besides that, uh, we're doing pretty good progress. I kind of finished all this. I was six. Thankfully, this is gonna be. I'm. A, I. I hope this is the only world that I take four parts to complete. Besides that, um, yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna talk more about that uh, project I'm gonna do with the friend. If you guys remember, uh, I was mentioning something about me starting a two-player adventure with a friend. I hope I can do that. I really hope. In order for me to do that, I'm gonna A, need my parents permission to um, start, well not not to start going out because I've been going out for a while now, but to allow me to go to my friend's house so I can do this. And I want I really, really want to do that two player adventure, it seems pretty fun. Way too fun. Uh, yeah, as you saw, that's the only way you can get to the chain shop. Besides that, there's a, I think there's a secret down here. Yeah, there is. Alright. Um, you go down here, and there is uh, more coins. They reward you a lot with these. You know what? I'm just going to show you. We're barely in World 2, and I'm going to show you how many lives we've gotten just by collecting coins. It is ridiculous. Um, there is an IGN video that makes a really funny pun about the lives in this show. And I will leave it in the description below. Oh my god, it's hilarious. <laughs> I first saw it with a friend when I was at uh, college the other day. And he showed it to me and I was like, Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> so I was cracking up so much. I think this is where the second star coin was. Uh, there's... This is just hard though because you know you you gotta pound it three times because the chain chomp's right there. Besides that, yes, uh, second star coins right here. It's not hard. It, you can take the challenge and try to ground pound these chain chomps. Like, oh my god, I did not know that will happen. Oh my god, that was close. Anyways, um, as you saw, you need to go through there. You cannot exit because you will be sinking and it does not count as platform. Besides that, I'm gonna. Try. I'm. I'm trying to go up there. Oh wait, now I remember how. I forgot. This is a bottom platform. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to start that uh, two-player project. I. Whatever. I don't. I'm not even gonna bother. I mean, yeah. It's only two worlds, so this video is obviously gonna be short. But I mean, uh, uh no. Screw you, Hammer Bro. Um. I'm gonna do the two-player adventure. I'm gonna, I, I will promise you guys, I will do that two-player adventure. Because I am gonna do that for A, this game, and B, I'm gonna do it for an HD gameplay of New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U, which is gonna happen a really, really, really long time from now. Um... I will do eventually a New Super Mario Bros. 1 playthrough. I know this is sounds a little too late for me to do that, but reason for that is because, well, I gotta show you where the whole new, new Super Mario Bros. started, how it started. Sadly, that game is way too expensive for my cost right now, so the more I play, the more I will win. <laughs> um, yeah. It's kind of sad seeing those uh, beetles just fall down straight to the lava. Oh, here's a little fun trivia. What's well, not many of a trivia? It's kind of just an observation that I made on the um, no, whatever. It's just trivia for me. Besides that, uh, in the original Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario World, my bad. Uh, when you defeat a Koopling, you fight in the lava fortress or something like that. Oh my God, it's so sad. I've never seen them die this sad. Um, this is what happens. A, I think it was you fight uh, Larry in that way. Ah, I remember this. This is a uh, hell. I will most. There we go. All right. Uh, you still need to keep that, so don't throw that away just yet. Um, Larry. 
Oh my god. Oh, I, I don't remember. It was one of the Koopalings. What happens is whenever you defeat them... I know, oh, oh, I know. I remember. Uh, Wendy's one of the people that die like that. But besides that... Oh my god. Um, I'm just gushing too much about this. Uh, you defeat them in lava and they're inside pipes. But what happens is that... Um, oh, I remember what I had to do here. Uh... Oh my god, it's the saddest thing. I can't believe what I'm gonna say. They fall in the lava. And it seems like they're crying because they fell in the lava. And it's really, really horrible. I would never expect to see something like that. Um, this happened in Super Mario Bro. Uh, not Super, Super... It's Super Mario World. Um, you defeat the Koopaling and... You just see their bodies fall in the lava as they're like waving their arms. and But they, they fall really quick. That's a good thing. Um, but still, it's a really bad, it's a really horrifying image to me because, like, I would never expect them to die like that in a Super Mario Bros. game. Uh, Super, I will start doing the NES Classics once I get enough funds for my Wii U. And I will be playing it off the HD format for my Wii U console because I do not own any of my, uh, classic consoles anymore. The only classic console I own right now is my N64 and my Dreamcast. Uh, it was, is it? Yeah, those are the only console. I do have a few GameCube games, which I'm gonna try to play on the Wii. But yeah, this is not really much of a boss fight. It's just basically evade, and it's really easy. The only problem is that Chain Chomp is constantly moving, so you gotta worry about uh, not getting hit. Besides that, uh, like I said, this episode was going to be really, really short because all we're doing is just basically um, getting rid of that last world and this world. There's Wendy herself. She will be faced, I think we're going to Snowland next? Or actually, is it Snowland? I think it's Tropical Land. Yes, yeah, tropical. Well, oh, here's a fun fact. This is not only tropical. This is also forest. So, yeah, we're getting, we're gonna tackle half half of this world is tropical, half of this world is forest. So, yeah, uh, we did pretty good progress in this episode. So, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And next time on Pocket Gaming, we're gonna go off into World Three One and, um, yeah, underwater. <laughs> it has been I, Pocket Gamers. Uh, my bad. My it's been uh, sorry. <laughs> good, just good night. Good night. Whatever. Whatever. Pocket Gamer. Good night.